Hey guys, welcome back. And today I have a video for you that I am sharing with you my empties and some of my favorite skincare products that I have used that I would reuse. And I'm gonna start off with cleansers. And I love this cleanser so much. And this is a Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser. And as you can see, I literally cut open everything so I could get everything out. I love this cleanser. I have sensitive skin and this cleanser was fantastic. My other cleanser that I don't have is from Kores and that's their Greek yogurt cleanser. I love that cleanser. I've gone through enough of those bottles. That cleanser is so good. It's also very, very gentle on my skin and I would definitely repurchase that. This is the Bestie Best Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. This is from Drunk Elephant. Also very, very gentle cleanser. And you just need a little bit of this. The last time I put a bed and I was, it, it, it soaps, it's, it has suds. So it was so sudsy on my face, <laughs> my nose and everything. So you need just a little bit of this and it does, it gets the job done. Next, let's go to Essence. This is my favorite essence and this is the belief hungarian water essence i love this thing and for some reason i looked for it in sephora i didn't see it uh, this time around so i ended up repurchasing this one but from alta i don't know why and i saw belief has a spray water mist facial mist spray let me know if any of you have used that you know is it hydrating especially at this time of the year this dermalogica pre-cleanse is wonderful this is exactly what i'm gonna use to take off all this makeup it is so good it's also very gentle on my skin it has a very nice clean smell i don't mind that smell some people say they mind it but i don't mind it and this is a deep cleansing oil that melts impurities and makeup from the skin it does exactly that and it is fantastic i love this thing this is the drunk elephant erase milky marcella water it is so good this is another one for removing your makeup i absolutely love this thing it is gentle on my skin i have to be honest this thing shocked me i didn't think it would be that good but it does a wonderful job to also remove my makeup the other dermalogica product i love this is my second bottle and this is they are daily microfoliant this has little crystals that you put in your hand and then you put some water and it turns into a milk and then you also exfoliate your skin for my sensitive skin this is this is actually gentle of course you don't go in too harsh because you're gonna cause minor tears on your skin you don't want that but this this is good i also love this one this is a cora organics turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask this is good Anytime I use this or this, I can feel the texture of my face is smoother. They really do remove the dead skin. Don't go in too harshly with this because it has little crystal balls and you, again, you can cause tears on your skin. So you wanna be gentle with this one. But the turmeric is fantastic. It's a brightening thing. It's a brightening ingredient. It's also good for you, you know, intake wise. So fantastic. Now this. Dr. Zenovia. Dr. Zenovia anything I love. This is the 10% benzoyl peroxide acne cleanser. Anytime I have a breakout or, you know, I know breakouts are coming, I use this. Fantastic. Again, anything from this brand, I trust them completely. Now, let's go to the serums. Bliss surprised me. I have the hyaluron four hyaluronic acids and amino acids. This is an all day moisture serum. This is a niacinamide hyaluronic day serum. Oh my God. They're empty, they're gone. I need more of this. Plus, I really, really love the bottle. These are perfect for traveling. I traveled with this. They did not leak. Absolutely, this is one fluid ounce. Absolutely good for my skin. Drunk Elephant Proteiny Power Peptide Resurfacing Serum. This is another product that surprised me. The lactic acid, the 10% lactic acid on this thing was very, very moisturizing on my face. My face loved this thing. So especially at this time of the year when our skin is so dry, this, this will be a good, good addition to my skin routine. The next thing is Dr. Zenovia. Again, I told you. This is the Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Serum. I honestly, I think this is my fifth bottle. <laughs> I don't know how many, how many bottles of this I have. I have used and just tossed. 
fantastic serum very hydrating it's not as sticky as i have seen some hyaluronic acid serums that i do not like the other product when i get black marks maybe post acne breakout and i get the black marks for discoloration i use this one discoloration repair serum this one is from paula's choice and it has really helped because i had some black marks that i used to have but this has really helped this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliate. This is an OG with so many people out there. I'm one of them. This is so good. It, it is a fantastic exfoliate. It's actually gentle on my sensitive skin. It has salicylic acid and it unclogs and shrinks pores, smooths and even skin tone, lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. You do not need to rinse this one out. This is perfect and it says for daytime, always follow with a sunscreen. Onto moisturizers. Dr. Zenovir, this is the aloe vera blemish soothing moisturizer. This is so gentle but high hydrating i mean it has squalene it has antioxidants it is oil free hydration to soothe redness on acne prone skin dr zanovier her whole line is just hormonal dermatology fantastic this is pharmacy honey halo empty gone this is how much i love this thing <laughs> and i really love the packaging this is glass and this thing is it's magnetic so i'm not gonna toss these spatulas honey is good for you honey is a humectant this is an intense moisturizer that replenishes dry distressed skin ceramides and honey help protect the skin moisture barrier this is a product worth repurchasing drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream strengthen moisturize this is my second bottle drunk elephant is not cheap so when my first bottle finished oh my goodness i literally opened the whole bottle because it's one of those bottles that you pump and the, the product comes out i opened the whole thing i took off the spring because i wanted to get everything i wanted to get every single drop i have to say the competition for me for this one is the skin fix barrier this is a triple lipid peptide cream this is also good i find this one a bit thicker than the one from drunk elephant this came with a hand cream and a refill and this one so that was a really 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 good deal this is the trio that is being sold right now in sephora i guess for holidays i don't know if it's still on but i purchased this during the vib sale that sephora normally has this is a good deal this is a full size moisturizer 1.7 fluid ounces which is the same the same as my empty right here this is a hand cream absolutely lovely eczema hand repair cream again from skin fix absolutely beautiful and then this is the refill and that's how the refill looks like it reminds me of yogurt so i guess you peel off once you're done you remove this remove this pop this in here and then reuse the very first retinol product i ever tried was this one from cerave and this is a red resurfacing retinol serum with three essential ceramides this is actually gentle i got a little bit of a tingle on my skin but it wasn't too bad and this is good i would say start off with something very 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 mild and of course use a sunscreen but for me i use retinol at night i don't put retinol during the day the other retinol product again is from dr zenovier and this one is advanced retinol night repair this is so so good i love it this is my og i don't even know what to call this thing skin savior this is a peter thomas roth goodbye acne complete acne treatment it clears active acne prevents future acne treats the look of pores and post acne max calms the look of irritation this has two percent salicylic acid and it has oligopeptitan complex vitamin c aloe vera it has a little bit of retinol i use it at night but anytime i have a breakout again i use this i use all you know like dr zenovia's hormonal dermatology but i also use this especially this at night i've noticed anytime i break out from a product and sometimes like a sunscreen when i put when and this happens for me around my mouth area this stuff within 
within three, four days, that reaction is gone. I can't live without this. I've already repurchased my second bottle. Facial oils, Murad, multivitamin effusion oil. This is done. I am crying. This stuff is not cheap. I think it's like $70. I love this thing. I'll use facial oils and I'm gonna mix that with my moisturizer and I'm gonna put that on my face for extra hydration. The second one is this one from The Ordinary and this is 100% plant derived squalene. It has gone through the ringer as you can see. It is finished. I love this thing. I have repurchased it. I've also repurchased the one from The Inky List and I wanna find out which one is better. But so far this one from The Ordinary, hands down, the best. This one is from Good Molecules and this is a Bakuchio oil blend for dry skin. I love this. I didn't care for the smell. I didn't like the smell of this thing. But I don't think I'll be repurchasing this just simply because of the smell. Otherwise, it did wonders for me. It was very good for hydration for my skin. I didn't like the smell, but I liked the oil. And then one of my favorite vitamin C oils is this one from Corez again. And this is a wild rose oil. Now this is not the absolute. The absolute oil is very, very oily. I didn't like that one. So this is the empty and this is the refill. So this is how the oil looks like. It's more like a dry oil. It's not also very, very oily. Again, I mix this sometimes with my moisturizer and I use this during the day because this is a vitamin C. And this has brightening absolute oil. This has worked very, very well for me. There's one and they call it absolute or something, but it was the newer version of this one before. I don't know if they still have it. I hated it. That was too oily. I stuck to this one. I have used this thing for almost seven years and from the very beginning I started using vitamin C, this is my very first vitamin C company to use, my skin changed. It cleared, it was brighter, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Eye cream. Dr. Zenovia Retinol Recovery Eye Cream. This is actually gentle around the eye area. It is not tingling at all. I love it. I wouldn't. I don't even know what. Clinically formulated for age-defying results. My other favorite oil is this one from Shiseido. I've had this thing forever. This thing, you just need a little bit a little bit, but I really, really, really love this oil. Some people say it's very greasy. I love it. I bought it in a set also for Christmas. I, I just love this brand. I love Shiseido. Not cheap either. So I look for sales. The other eye cream I love, this is Itty Bitty. This is from Belief. Again, this is the moisturizing eye balm. This is Itty Bitty. This is perfect for travel. I love this. I really, really, really love this brand. I also love this eye cream. Very nice, almost gone. But I absolutely love this eye cream. This is an eye cream that I would repurchase a bigger size. And you know, eye creams last forever because you don't need a lot. So this is perfect. Sunscreen. Again, I'm very sensitive. I've been trying to look for what sunscreen do I not react to. I'm still testing out the Black Girl sunscreen and this one I got it from Target. This one has avobenzone, homosylate, octisylate, and octroline. So I want to test and see how this works so far. I, I don't know. The jury's still out on this one for me and it's all because of the reaction. It does not leave a white cast. It is beautiful but it does not leave a white cast at all. It is so nice. See, it, it absorbs beautifully. So I don't know if it's if I'm just sensitive to something yet. I have no idea. But the only other sunscreen that does not, I don't react to is this one from Shiseido. And this one has SPF 50. And this one looks like an underarm deodorant. What I was saying is this sunscreen looks like an underarm deodorant you just scroll it up and then it's like gel very nice also leaves no white cast at all and it's clear and you just apply and it's it's perfect i really really like it lip balms i love lip balms again this one from drunk elephant i love this thing um, it's finished it's very very moisturizing you don't need to keep reapplying this one passes i need another one these ones are from the men's brand and it's called jack black i've literally cut them open so that i can get every little drop and i love these things the good thing with these ones is that they have spf 25 and you actually don't taste the sunscreen but they are so so good our sephora also has like a package that I think they said like four of them. I don't like the minty one, but this are good. If you don't like Petrolatum, this one from Kinship, this is a very, very nice lip mask. It's called Vegan Lip 
jelly mask super melt absolutely good i love this one this one was nourishing on my lips and I, I can't say enough i'm about to cut this one up like i did the others so i can scoop everything out that's how much i love this thing i rarely use toners i don't even know if toners are that good these days if they are going obsolete but there's one toner that i like so far and this is the bliss multivitamin toner it has vitamins b3 b5 b6 c and e and that is how it looks like like i said i rarely use toners this is such a big bottle <laughs> I don't know and I'll never get finished with this one but I like it like I use you saw my other bliss products I really really don't mind this toner at all now would I repurchase it they sent this to me I'm not sure I don't know because I to me like I said toners are pretty don't exist on my routine as much last but not least Vaseline this is good this works for me i use it on my hands actually i have very dry hands so i like stuff like vaseline i'll use stuff like this one from skin fix hand repair cream i also like the neutrogena the hand cream i don't have that bottle but it's also very thick the thicker the cream the better it is for me for my hands because my hands get dry so so much from the years and years of nursing washing hands in the hospital now we have to use alcohol to cleanse our hands my hands are completely dry so i have to use something very very moisturizing that's it for now that's all i have for my favorite favorite skincare products who knows next month maybe i'll have something totally different but those two so far are my favorite so if you're enjoying this content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in the next one